Welcome friends. Today we will discuss and learn about the percentage impedance transformer and its role when it comes to the parallel operation of transformers. So what is a percentage impedance? If you see the nameplate of the transformer, you can see besides other parameters, you also find here the percentage impedance. So you can see the percentage impedance of this transformer is 4. So this is a typically a distribution transformer. So the percentage impedance of the distribution transformer is less as compared to the power transformers. Percentage impedance of the tra uh, transformer has an important role in the parallel operation of the transformers. If the ratio of the KV rating to percentage impedance of the two transformers operating in parallel is equal, then they will share the equal load. However, if the ratio is different, then they will share the unequal load. So we can say that if the KV rating of the two transformers are same, then if the, these two transformers are, are in parallel, then they will share the load inversely proportional to their percentage impedances. So what are the conditions that are required for the parallel operation of transformers? So the conditions are the voltage transformation ratio of the both transformers must be same polarity must be same, percentage impedance should be the same, vector diagram and the phase displacement must be the same and the phase sequence must be the same. So these are the conditions among these one condition is the percentage impedance. So we will check now in ETAB that how really uh, when the transformers have the different percentage impedance what are the behavior of the transformers. So we have built up a network and we have put the two transformers in parallel. So let's see the rating of these two transformers. So the rating of both transformers voltage rating is 132 by 11. So it means that both have the same voltage ratings at HV and at the MV sides. Secondly, the MV rating of the both transformers is 30 MV. So we are at present, we are putting the MV rating of both transformers at 30. Impedance impedance we are also having the impedance of the both transformer as case one are similar so you can see the nine percent impedance percent impedance is there so further you come and you will see that we have the vector group dy uh, 30 so it's basically dy1 so dy1 means the primary side is in delta and the second is in star and both transformers have the same vector group so now we are fulfilling the conditions same vector group same polarity same ratio and if we run the calculations we will see that how much they will share the load so we have put both of the transformers in parallel parallel and we have connected a lump load of 10 mva so this is the detail of the load 10 mva power factor is uh, 85 percent 0.85 and we will see in the when we read the run the load calculations we will see how much is the load they will share so here you can see total uh, amps are 44 and uh, hv side so the hv current 22 22 amps in the both transformers and the low voltage side or the medium voltage side current is 263.8 and 263.8 so both the transformers are sharing exactly the same load now what we will do we will change the percentage impedance of one transformer so i will come to the impedance here and instead of 9 let it put here 18 and here 18 as well so then i'll put ok and then we will run here the simulation load flow studies and here you can see now the load sharing because the percentage impedance of this transformer is 18 percent and the percentage impedance of transformer t1 is 9 percent so the low percentage impedance transformer the transformer that has a low percentage impedance is sharing more more amps and the transformer that has high percentage impedance is now sharing less amperes however the total load current always um, almost remains same so you can see the load sharing is different so if you put the two transformer 
with same uh, MV rating, but they are differed by their percentage impedances. The load shading uh, on the both the transformers will be different. It means that now you cannot uh, put the 100% rating of the load on both transformers because as soon as you put the 100% rating here, so this transformer will be loaded 100% because this percentage is 9% here and this transformer will be loaded at 50%. So you cannot increase the load because you don't want to make your transformer T1 overloaded. So this is an example that how the percentage impedance is important when it comes to the parallel operation of the transformers. Now guys, uh, we have put uh, rate both the, the transformer have now the same rating and the same percentage impedances and you can see here they are sharing the same uh, uh, currents once again. So now what we, what we will do, we will put another change in the one another variable and we will see what is the impact of the load sharing based on this variable. So we will change now the rating, MV rating of the transformer T3. So I will change and reduce the ratings to 15 MV instead of 30 MVA. Put OK. So now we have one transformer 15 MVA with 9% percentage impedance. So the percentage impedance is the 9%. But the MV ratings, both transformers have now different. So here you can see the, another transformer has 30% 30 MVA and the percentage impedance is 9. So both transformers now have the same percentage impedances but have the different MV rating. So what we will do, how they, they will share the load. So we will do this load flow once again. And here you can see now again, despite the fact that both have the same percentage impedances, they have different MV ratings and you can see they are sharing the different load currents. So it means that the both transformers we have designed uh, to have same percentage impedances. The MVA rating is different so they are already sharing the load current as proportional to their MVA rating. So this transformer has a double MVA rating so it's carrying a double load current and this transformer is half so it's carrying 50% of the you can see almost 50% of the load current as compared to T1. So this is an, another example that the M, uh, load sharing is not only depending upon the percentage impedances but also the MV rating. So coming back to the definition, the definition is saying the load sharing in the parallel operation uh, is depending upon the ratio of KVA rating to the percentage impedance of the transformer. So if the ratio of KVA rating to percentage impedance of the transformers are the same, then load sharing will be the same. So the ratio of uh, percentage KVA rating to percentage impedance is the deciding factor for the load sharing. Okay, so for the transformer number one, so it is 30 VA, 30 MVA divided by, you can say 9%. So it is 3.33. So another transformer we have S is equal to 15 divided by 9 so it comes to 1.66 so you can see the ratio of kv rating to percentage impedance is different so the both transformers are now carrying the different currents so if if i want to if i want that both transformers should carry the same currents despite having a different MV ratings so I need to change the percentage impedance so if I use if, if I change the percentage impedance from 9 to 4.5 so I have reduced the MV rating 50% and also I have reduced the percentage impedance 50% so again you can see 15 divided by 4.5 so it will be equal to 3.33 so it means that if I 
reduce the percentage impedance by 50 percent just like MVA so the ratio of MVA rating to percentage will remain same and the load sharing will be the same in that case so let's uh, do it here so I will just change the percentage impedance and reduce it to 50 percent 4.5 okay and then we will run the load flow and here you can see now both transformers have the same different MV ratings and different percentage impedances but still they are carrying the same load current reason is that the ratio of MV rating of T1 is equal to the ratio of MV rating to percentage impedance of T3 so the ratio both have the same ratios so both are carrying that same load current so this is the relationship of percentage impedance and why it's important uh, to consider percentage impedance when we are doing a parallel operation